So we're going to talk about using Autotune to play in your corrected notes. We did a tutorial about this and we demonstrated with Wavestune real time and people have asked to show how to do it with Autotune. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to load up Autotune as a software instrument and not as an audio effect directly on the audio track. So track three audio two, track two audio two inches, mute. Track two right here, that's muted. I just unmuted that. So track two here is our vocal track. And we're going to add a software instrument track underneath this with a uh, command option S. Track three classic electric piano. And we want to command option return to make sure this track is blank. If you're not using the logic keyboard ninja key commands, you can go into the tracks, time ruler, time line, tracks legend, group, tracks, time ruler, tracks header, group, out of track, tracks, toolbar. Tracks, two, out of tracks, group, inspector, group. There we go, inspector, inspector group. interact with that VO end to jump to the end mixer, of the window. Area. Interact with the mixer. Mixer, layout area. Two items, classic electric piano, and partially hidden, channel strip group. Oh, in classic electric solo, off, mute, off, switch. VO home. Um, library indicator, no, button. VO right. Setting, button. And right here where it says settings, if you VO space on Menus. this. Menus, next channel, previous channel, copy channel strip, paste channel strip, paste plugins on, paste sense only, bypass all effect, remove bypass, clock, remove empty insert, remove all effect, remove all sense, reset channel strip, command option, return. You have reset channel strip. Closing menu. And if you press that, it will make the channel strip blank. The reason we want to blank the channel strip out is because there is a reverb on the classic electric piano that it brings up by default. So you want to make the channel strip completely blank and then you can add the instrument without worrying about any effects being after the auto tune instrument. Classic electric piano, partially right. channel strip group. So we have to interact with this track. In classic electric piano. And VO home. On. Library indicator. No button. Solo off. Switch. VO home again. On. Library indicator. No there button. There's a bug where sometimes it jumps you right back to the end of the channel script right after you hit via home. So if I via left, on, like on, library see, I can't go anymore to left. That means I'm at the top of the channel strip now. So if I via right, setting button, game reduction me off, Eat, plugin off, library instrument button. Right here where it says instrument, we're going to via space menu, on this. Menu, sub menu, two items. And we're going to go down to where it says AU MIDI controlled effects. Menu, 30, drum kit, just drums, EFF, ES, ESM, ES, ES2, Evertw, quick sample, retro, sample, sample, studio, studio, oh, vintage, 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 you just drum, AU generator, AU, AU MIDI controlled effects, sub menu. There you go, and VO right. AU MIDI control, fat filter, native instruments, sub menu, isotope, sub menu, fat filter, sub menu, Antares, sub menu. And there we have Antares, and if we go in here, I'm just going to do VO right again. Antares, sub menu, four items, auto tune artist, sub menu. Auto tune artist, auto tune pro, sub menu. And auto tune pro are the only ones that will let you. Uh, loaded up on an instrument track. So you can't do this with Axis. You have to have either Artist or Autotune Pro. Um, the biggest difference that um, Izzy said he's noticed between the two is that uh, Pro gives you the grid mode or the graphic mode rather where you can individually uh, select your notes, which is not accessible last I looked, but it might be now. I'm assuming it could be in 10. Yeah, I think so. That's the biggest difference. Um, auto tune artist, sub menu. I'm going to go to artists. For auto tune artist, sub menu. Two items, mono. Closing menu. Cl classic plugin window. Classic Put electric, classic electric. Mono. And it just brought up auto tune artists here. So the other thing you want to do is you need to side chain this to your vocal track. Toolbar button, bypass, manual, side chain, none, pop up button. So side chain and then none, that pop up button. Menu, check mark, none. Audio, sub menu. Go down to audio. Audio, sub menu, free items, instrumental, audio, audio two. So audio two was our vocal track, so I'm gonna select audio two, that. Closing menu. And then the other thing you gotta do, I'm gonna jump to the end here. Table, row one to thirty-five. Input type, soprano slider, zero percent slider. That's the table where you'll see your parameters. So I'm gonna interact with the table. In table, row key, C scale, correct tune, zero, throw and... one, form and correction, unchecked, retune speed, twenty, humanize, zero, natural vibrato, zero, ignore vibrato, unchecked, target notes via MIDI, unchecked checkbox. Target notes via MIDI via space. Check. And now we can uh, correct stuff from the keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and play. I'll just do something exaggerated. And you notice you're hearing the, the dry vocal there as well as the, the corrected vocal. So let's hide this. Tracks, group, stream set, vocal test logics. Track two audio, two inches, mute, group. All right, so I just muted that track. So now track three, classic electric piano, group. go back to the classic electric piano and go ahead and let's try this again. <laughs> so, <laughs> Now you're hearing that it's actually um, correcting the vocals and you're not hearing the dry vocals anymore. So same deal, you're gonna have to hit record on this MIDI track to record in your changes. So let's go ahead and do that. Ready? So real world use case this time. All right, yeah, here we do. go. 
Seven bars, one beat, one division, one chick. Oh, yeah. Have a two-word count then? Yeah. So much for a real-world performance. <laughs> But you get the picture. You uh, Once you hit record and play it in, you can bounce in place to create audio. But the nice thing about this is because you have it recorded as MIDI, you can actually piano roll, layout area. Stream go set, into the piano roll. Piano roll, piano roll, piano roll, in piano roll, layout area. Four, note nine bars, four beats, two divisions, 136 ticks. And correct these notes, uh, you know, take out extra notes. So you can uh, go into the piano roll and correct stuff. And then once you're done, close Tracks, the piano um, roll. You can press... Control B or Control Command B to bounce this to a new track as audio. And then that will become your audio vocal track. And you can either leave the other, the original one muted or remove it from your project, whatever you want to do. But yeah, so it's pretty much a similar concept to Waves Tune Real Time. The one nice thing about Autotune is the MIDI checkbox is visible in Controls View, so you don't have to be OCR the window to turn that on like you had to do in waves two in real time. Um, and like we said, it seems to work in Autotune artists and Autotune pro. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Remember to like share and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with logic course. And I can let you know when the logic keyboard ninja key commands have been updated and keep you in the loop on everything going on at logic.band. Want to go deeper on this topic or anything relating to Mac OS voiceover logic or garage band, then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band slash training. Want to support us? Then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or ongoing donation. You can also join the band by visiting logic.band slash member or just hit the join button if you're watching this on YouTube and you'll get bonus tutorials, a Q&A with me, and more. Links to everything plus a blog post with supplemental information for this tutorial is in the description and as always, happy recording.